Cowboys remain in first place in the NFC East with their 2-4 and four record, which means everyone in the division is still within striking distance. The 1-4-1 one, one Eagles face the 1-5 and five Giants on Thursday night here on Fox. And a win there could move Philly back into the driver's seat in the race for the playoffs. So, Shannon, who wins the NFC East and what is their final record? Skip, it shouldn't be. There are six teams that have the exact same record or better than the entire division of the NFC East. Correct. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't happen six weeks into a regular season where one team has as many victories as an entire division. Mm. That being said, six wins, probably seven, is going to win this division. The, the, the Eagles could really win this division and at six, nine, and one. Skip, people keep talking about the Cowboys' injuries, but the very injuries that the Cowboys have, the Eagles have been dealing with all year. They played the lion's share of this season without their three best wide receivers. Yep. Now Zach Ertz is gone down. Miles Sanders is out of the ball game. Lane Johnson is out. Barrett is out. And Jason Peters, the guy they were counting on to play left tackle, is now out. So their three best linemen, their three best receivers, and their running back, and the tight end. Can you imagine, just imagine, say, you know what? The next two weeks, uh, Andy Dalton, you're going to be without C.D., Gallup, Zeke, and Amari, and uh, the offensive line, and you're not getting Zach Martin back. How many games do you think the Cowboys win? Mm -hmm. At least, to give the Eagles credit, Skip, given what they've gone through, is that they're continuing to fight. Now, look at who they beat, they lost to. They lost to the Steelers, undefeated. They lost to the Ravens, one game. And they're arguably two of the best defenses in football. Yep. And they hung put what they put 26 27 on Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and I think they had what 28 on Baltimore not bad but given where they are in the state of this division with the quarterback play skip I don't see how anybody gets to be 500 mm. in this division mm. so I'm going to say the Eagles win the division at 691 mm. or uh, uh, yeah 691 because mm. I, I just I'm looking at their schedule skip and they got to win these next two games yep they, they got to beat the Giants and the Cowboys and the Cowboys mm -hmm. yes that's yes. on Sunday night yes so you got Thursday night Sunday night so you get a you get a nice little break to heal up Hopefully they can get Sanders back in that time. It says Zach Ertz is going to be gone for about three or four weeks. They, they're, they're supposed to get D-Jack D back. I don't know. I, when, I think he's going to play Thursday. Right, That's what right. they said. They're supposed to get him back. I don't know about Alshon, and I don't know when Regger's coming back. Yep. But they, they need to win the, this game here and then heal up and get ready for the Cowboys. I think that's a Sunday night game, Skip. But to think somebody's going to get a home playoff game, Skip, mm -hmm. and they're probably not going to be 500 is kind of embarrassing. Mm. So, this is a case <laughs> for which the commissioner should be given power to disqualify a division and give the, the wild card somewhere else. Give it to the <laughs> NFC West. Because so, somebody's going to get eliminated in the NFC West yeah. that will deserve to be yes. in the playoffs far more. Everybody than might be games. above 500 in the NFC West. Okay. Thank you. This is all time, all time embarrassing. I told you to open the show. I'm embarrassed for my team that it's even in this division because this division allows them to barely stay afloat when they shouldn't be able to. If, if it weren't for the NFC least, maybe Jerry Jones would be thinking about firing Mike McCarthy already. <laughs> he might be because yeah. it would be so over that he'd say, gee, we, we easily could be 0-6. Instead, they're 2-4 and, and they're still in first place in the least. The truth is about this division and I think you would agree with this. It hasn't even started yet. If, if you're going to give me a credible champion from this division, we're actually going to talk about somebody's going to win it and make the playoffs with a home game. Right. Well, the truth is it has not begun yet. Right. It's just now starting with these division clashes, if right. I can put quotes around clashes, <laughs> Thursday night and Sunday. Obviously, you got Giants at Eagles here on Fox, and then you got Cowboys at the Washington football team on Sunday. It used to be a rivalry no more because it's a pathetic matchup of <laughs> bad football bad teams. Football team. Okay. I'm going to hang in with my team because my team still has the easiest remaining schedule. And to me, your team, the Eagles, has the toughest remaining schedule. Mm -hmm. I believe in my heart of hearts that right here, right now, your team is still a little bit better than my team because your defense is a lot better mm -hmm. than my defense. I agree. I still have my three wide receivers healthy, so that means I always have some kind of chance. Right. 
and we're going to talk more about Andy Dalton later. But the only silver lining for me last night was Andy Dalton got the equivalent of extended preseason action in a blowout. <laughs> and and it, all that happened was he got to actually, against a decent defense, he actually got a bunch of reps in the blowout mm -hmm. where he's trying to figure out, oh, Gallup does that. Or, oh, oh, Amari likes that route a lot. And I, I got a sense that, that we're on a good wavelength on this route. So he's smart enough, he's been around enough, that maybe he started to figure some things out last night. So maybe it wasn't all for naught. Okay. You have said, you said yesterday, Andy Dalton's the best quarterback in the division. Well, he's definitely the best backup quarterback. Right. He did not play overall great last well, Skip, night. That's obviously. not an endor that's no. not an endorsement of Andy Dalton. No, it's, it's an, an indictment, indictment of, of Carson Wentz, the guy that you love. Oh, uh, uh, and Danny Dimes and Haskins or Allen or whomever else may be the quarterback okay. in that division. So I'm going to say it again. I am not writing off the New York football giants. I'm not because they still have a decent football team given the lack of competition in this division. Right. So it will not surprise me if they make a run. And by the way, they're only a game out of first as we, <laughs> s we sit right now, right? Look, considering they got one win and the team that's leading the division okay. has two. I, I got it. Okay, and that they barely survived for the one win because Washington went for two to win the game, Correct. right? Okay. Yes. So this is the division you don't watch. You rubberneck this right. division, right? You, you watch it like it's a car wreck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my Cowboys... What is going to happen? They're going to get Randy Gregory back. I love Randy Gregory. I hope he can stay eligible for the rest of the year. He's had all kinds of issues with substance abuse mm -hmm. in his career, and he's been suspended multiple times, but he is back. And they said he's practicing at a high level. He can really rush the passer off the edge. So it'll give him another weapon, more depth in the pass mm -hmm. rush. Okay. Early on last night, I saw more flashes, signs of life from my defense. I think it could be a decent defense, but the numbers right now are historically bad. Well, Skip, in order for them to be decent, they're going to have to be historically good. Okay. As, gr as bad as they've been over the first six games, they're going to have to be historically great just in order to get to be average. Okay, I got it. But I look down the stretch at your schedule, the Eagles, and obviously it's, it's more going to come down. It, well, it just is because... They, they have the easier games now. They get the Giants, Cowboys at home, and then they go to the Giants. Yes. Okay, fine. And then, here we go. At Cleveland, I, I don't think that's a gimme. No. You never know about the Browns, but I don't think it's a gimme. Then it's, it's Seahawks on Monday night at home, at Green Bay, Saints at home, at Kyler, and then at Cowboys to end it. Well, that's where it's so difficult because they got the because they won the division. They got the three division winners. They got the Saints. They got Green Bay, Seattle, right. all in consecutive, consecutive weeks. Okay. And it could come down to the season ender at Jerry World. Well, last year it came down to the, the game that was at Philly, and my team lost 17 right. to 9. Dak had a bum shoulder. He couldn't practice that week. He wasn't very good in the game. He missed Tavon Austin with, with a pass that could have at least tied the game, set him up to go for two and tie, force overtime. But I'm looking at this one that maybe the Cowboys could be good enough by the last game to win it. And, and get to seven wins. That's what it's going to yeah. take. I got seven and nine for Dallas. I still believe that they could steal this division and actually ha win the right to get blown out at home in a playoff <laughs> game because that's what would happen. Because you still have Pittsburgh. You still have Baltimore. Yep. You still have San Francisco on your schedule. Yep. I think the thing is for the most important, you guys going to have to win these next two games, although they're on the road. You're going to really need to beat Washington and Philly, Skip. You well, have to well, because you got because you got Washington yeah, because you got you got Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh looks really now you think a, you, your quarterback was under duress that's one thing the Steelers do they get after your quarterback mm -hmm. they do Keith Butler will dial up pressure Bud Dupree I can already tell you that's a big L <laughs> and and I might not even watch that game because that could be forty to ten your backup might get the opportunity to play in that game because they're going to be coming off the edge mm. yeah. I just don't see a scenario where someone is 500 and win this division. Mm. Someone can get to seven. Someone's going to be seven and nine and okay. win this division. I still got the Eagles finishing five, ten, and one. Wow. And I don't think that's good enough. It might be. I don't know. Skip, it ain't no way. The commissioner got to The NFC East, you're not going anywhere. If somebody wins a division at five, ten, and one, no, you can't go. Mm. No. Uh -uh, well, no. guess what? No. They will. <laughs> Get out. No, no. We, we should, they should be banned. Like you said, the commissioner should have certain powers to say, you know what? Somebody in the NFC West, you're 9 and 7. You're going, you're going to represent the NFC because we can't have this. Okay. So you are still sticking barely with the Eagles? I'm, ba I'm, ba I'm, barely, sticking, I'm barely sticking with them. 
I, I'm holding on by a thread. Okay. But Thursday night is going to tell me a lot. It will. I it's going to tell me a lot. It'll be a very interesting battle at Philly. Mm, uh, Shannon, I'm curious if you're still sticking with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. He had some pretty blunt words to share about his loss to Tom Brady. We'll tell you what the future Hall of Famer had to say next. No mercy.